A car flying into a canal killing a 47 year old man has us raising the question. How can something like this be prevented? The latest crash happened last night near the fire station on Sunshine Boulevard North and 55th Street West in Lehigh Acres. Hello, I'm Emma Heaton and I'm Russ McCaskey. The most recent car into the water has added to the long list of lives taken exactly the same way. Now, if you live in Florida long enough, you know that these crashes that we're showing you here are fairly common. But do they have to be? Wink News reporter Olivia Jean has more on what could be put into place to help. You'll notice around canals and water spaces in southwest Florida, you don't typically see guardrails. Well, neighbors are pushing for it, and one safety advocate says it could save lives. Here in southwest Florida, we have a lot of water. We often report on cars crashing into canals, retention ponds, lakes, and rivers. Like this crash back in October of 2023, here is the video of a car driving into a canal in Cape Coral. Wink News is now asking if there is something to help. The purpose of a guardrail is to save lives. Stephen Imers is a roadside safety advocate whose daughter died almost eight years ago in a crash. As she was driving in McMinn County, Tennessee, went off the left side of the road and hit a guardrail and went through her car. It led me to ask a whole lot of questions. He said adding effective guardrails could help. Florida has one of the the worst problems in our nation with people hitting either hitting a guardrail and going into the water or not hitting a guardrail and going into unguarded waters. Chloe Arenas died in 2015 after her car crashed into an Orange County pond. As a result, Chloe's law passed in 2018 requires guardrails to be installed where someone has drowned in a car crash. The problem? Well, there is limitations. It only applies to car crashes between 2006 to 2016. Renew Chloe's law and make it permanent. Florida Highway Patrol is investigating the deadly crash that happened on Monday night and we'll bring you more details as we learn them. In Lehigh Acres, Olivia Jean, Wink News.